How, how useful is economics is a good question. Economics is useful in different ways for different things. My colleagues and I are trying to make market design a part of economics, and market design is the engineering part of economics. We tried to fix markets when they're broken and make new ones when they don't exist. So, for example, one way to help people who need kidney transplants without running into the barrier of buying and selling kidneys is through kidney exchange. And this has to do with the fact that healthy people have two kidneys and can remain healthy with just one. So if there's someone you love who is dying of kidney disease, you could save their life by donating a kidney to them if you are healthy enough. And if they can take your kidney, there has to be a match. But you might be healthy enough to give someone a kidney, but not able to give a kidney to the person you love. And if I was in the same situation, we might be able to do an exchange where you would give a kidney to my patient and I would give a kidney to your patient and that would let two more people have transplants than otherwise could have. And kidney exchange in that simple form and in, in many more complex forms uh, has now become a standard form of transplantation in the United States and it's growing elsewhere. There's the beginnings of kidney exchange in England, in the Netherlands, we're sitting here in Germany where, where it's illegal still. My colleagues and I, we, we look at markets that aren't working well and think about whether we can intervene and change the rules and make them work better. And in the case of kidney exchange, we look at markets that didn't yet exist and, and try to make a matching market that will help more people get transplants.